Half a century ago, history was made on the hilltops of New England. Spindle Hill, John Tom Hill, Bald Hill, Asnabumskit Mountain, and Bear Hill. Not mountains most New Englanders have ever heard of. But on November 13, 1947, these hilltops were part of an experiment that changed the world. Television. Good evening. I'm Ed Murrell. The name of the program is Person to Person. I wonder if uh, we may come in through the window in this fashion. Walter Cronkite reporting. You are there. These are the sites of the first television relay system in the world. For the first time, television signals were sent from New York to Boston through these microwave relay stations. Bill Anderson was the chief engineer for New England Telephone. He remembers what happened that night. This Boston to New York run was really the, the, the Christopher Columbus in a way. It was the very first one. It was the one that proved the technology would work. From the archives of AT&T, here are the first images relayed through the system 50 years ago. One of the most modern forms of communication between man and man is the relayed radio, an experimental radio relay system now set up between New York and Boston, and one is planned between New York and Chicago. This system can carry long distance telephone calls and may also serve the networks of radio and television. And so by building a hilltop to hilltop system of communications, we could provide television pictures from New York to Boston, Boston, New York. And that's what it's all about. It's line of sight, and that's the reason you want to come up on top of a hill. And New England has the hills. <laughs> Here in New England, network television was born. ABC, NBC, CBS, and PBS were all made possible by this successful experiment. Experimental model was here, and the final production models, of course, were built and honeycombed the whole United States in the early 50s. Out of research and radar grew the microwave channels for long distance telephoning and for TV, too, that now span the country from coast to coast. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States. It shall be the policy of this nation to regard any nuclear missile launched from Cuba against any nation in the Western Hemisphere as an attack by the Soviet Union on the United States, requiring a full retaliatory response on the Soviet Union. Free at last, free at last, thank God Almighty, we are free at last. I shall not seek, and I will not accept, the nomination of my party for another term as your president. Most New Englanders never realized that for the next 40 years, all the network television they watched came through these seven original stations. I'm going to step off the land now. Man on the moon. Boy. <laughs> if you look at this tower and think what went through here, it is pretty spooky because it was um, a precursor of everything. Today, television networks distribute their signals by satellite. The seven original stations still exist, but television no longer passes through these hilltops. This history exists with no ceremony, no memorial, and little remembrance of what occurred here on these lonely summits just five decades ago. But the great visual history, our common shared experience of the events we all witnessed on television, began right here in the hills of New England in 1947.